Hi there, I'm Vicky Parfino from Aussie Stampers and Vicky Parfino Studio. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some neurographic art and I'm going to be overlaying the pattern onto some gel prints that I've made. And I've just been going through my prints and having a look at something that I think might be interesting enough to put a neurographic art design onto. I think this first print, I considered that I had over layered the pattern onto it a little bit too much. It was a little bit overworked um, and it's got this, I guess this is a violet colour coming down the outside here and if I turn it around I can actually see a face in that, two eyes, a nose and a mouth and I thought mm, not my favourite of all the prints. I quite like some of the others. I think they came out really quite well. These are all organic leaf prints made from ferns and leaves and gum leaves and I was very, very pleased with that printing exercise that I did on my gel plate. But now I want to turn this into a neurographic piece of art using neurographic lines. So I've done a little bit of testing with some Copic markers here on a couple of offcuts where I had the gel print and just wanted to make sure that they would show through. This is a V16, uh, pardon me, V15, and this is a V17. So, let me show you those. And um, let's see how this goes together. So I have my Copic colour wheel, and I have chosen, intuitively, when I did this print, I chose colours that were opposite on the colour wheel. So you can see this colour belongs over here, this colour is in the greens, and the purple is somewhere over here. So I have some nice opposite colours going on. So I feel I need to bring out more of this violet colour, which is why I've chosen these two markers. Now, if you didn't have Copic markers and you didn't have gel prints, you could just use a piece of painted paper as background and you could use coloured pencils, you could use uh, regular watercolour markers, you could use watercolour crayons, you could use paint, you could use a black Sharpie if you wanted to. I wanted to do something that wasn't black so that it would be very soft on the eye. So I'm going to start with my first neurographic line and I'm going to use my extra broad V17 Copic wide. So I've tested these out on the back. So this is the extra broad and this is using the tip of the end just like that. This is the V15 which is the much softer colour so you can see how they're going to turn out. So let's get into it. I'm going to put some music on, relax it back and the first step before I put the music on is to draw a neurographic line with your non-dominant hand as your starting point. And the neurographic line is that line that travels from one end of your paper to the other without a break. Now I have made a break in there, so I'm going to fix that. My dominant hand, I'm a left-hander. And I'm just going to make the lines Relax, sit back and enjoy this meditative art process.